you can now use the backbone controller on Android devices. Let me show you how. All right, so to get started, you're gonna need a couple of stuff. And here's what you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need the backbone controller. You're gonna need a lightning to USB-C controller or whatever USB your Android device support. And you're gonna need an iOS device. So if you guys didn't know just recently, Backbone updated the app to let you to be able to do this. So you definitely want to make sure that you go to the app store and make sure that your recent Backbone controller app has been updated. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the Backbone app controller and then you're going to want to make sure that it is connected to the Backbone. So we're going to do this right here. As you guys are seeing, it's connected. Then the next thing you're gonna to want to do is go to settings here, and then you are going to want to go to controller. And then if you go to controller, if your app has been updated, you should see this play on any screen. So we're gonna click it. And then it gives you other selection instead of just iOS devices. So as you can see here, you have your iPad, your Google Chrome PC, Android. So we're gonna click Android. So yeah, you can use this to play on any other devices. So it's pretty cool. But for this video, we're going to be showcasing just Android. Just a disclaimer with this new update, they have something called subscription plan and you're going to need this in order to make this work. And if you purchase this before last Thursday, you become grandfathered in as a lifetime customer so you don't have to pay a subscription but if you didn't yes you are going to have to pay fee subscription wise to make this work i believe they said it's 60 dollars a year or so but yeah just make sure that you have that activated if you are if you weren't a previous backbone owner all right so once that's done you don't need your ios device anymore so we're gonna move that away so now all you have to do is take your Android device. As you can see here, I have my Galaxy Fold. And this is quite tricky because again, it's not going to fit in here, but you can do this several ways. For instance, I can just have my Fold sitting like this. So again, I'm just gonna open something like Google, have it sitting like this, plug the lightning cable to one and then plug as long as you have the wire plugged in to the backbone control into your smartphone, then you're good to go. So as you can see here, I have it plugged in. And now my backbone is actually working with my Android device. So we're going to play a game like Wavetail and check this out. All right, so here you go. This is Wavetail and I'm using the backbone controller. As you can see here, it's pretty smooth, very responsive. And the beautiful thing with this, because it's USB to USB, it's not going to be hardly any latency. So again, when you're concerned about making sure that you're playing cloud gaming and having zero latency, this does a trick for you. The other thing you can do with this is if you have a device that fits here, if you want to play like handheld mode, you actually can do it. So what I'm curious to do is I think I'm going to break this light in USB because I have another backbone and I'm going to slide that in and then it'll be like a traditional control and get like a shorter wire to just make it more comfortable to play. But as you can see, yeah, the backbone controller now officially works with Android. All right, fellas, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, peace out.